really? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, Lo. Whoa. Say hi. Welcome back to the channel. This is Lotus. Edzo will make an appearance at some point. My name's Allison, and today we are going over. Oh, hey, there's Enzo. We are going over our summertime tips. Yeah, I know the pool doesn't have water in it, okay? I was just going for a fact. If you want more German Shepherd content, vlogs, tips, craziness, you can subscribe and follow along. If you have any questions, you can comment below. I try to answer them all. If you have anything like specific that's like too much for a comment, you can always DM me on Instagram. Today's tips are all gonna be about keeping your pup safe in the summer months, especially shepherds. But really, I would say most of this, if not all of this, is good for any pup breed. We are gonna get into some of our ways that we are able to stay active, yet safe in the summer months. Yes, it's not your pool, I know. Well, yeah, it tastes funny. It's plastic, goofball. <sighs> can we just, can we just get on with the tips? Can we? Okay. Okay, the next tip is sunscreen. Come here, Baba. <sighs> no, actually, this is for humans but we do something for the pups and that is I spray them with a anti-tick and flea spray. <laughs> what I was just spraying was flea and tick spray. I don't give them a flea and tick treatment. I don't like those. We're not gonna go into that in this video. I think they're too toxic and overall not good for them. So this is the one I currently use. Come on, focus, there you go. I've actually used a couple different kinds and been fine with both of them. I currently like that one the best, uh, simply because it smells a little bit better than the other one I was using. And that one is more readily available in brick and mortar. So like when you're traveling, like I was, that was super handy. In the couple years that I've been using it, all of our hikes, all of our traveling, everything, I've never found a flea or tick on them when using it. Other things you can do is you can actually get sprays for your yard to help deter them. So that's something you could look into as well. I don't worry about those as much now because our whole backyard is fenced in. I don't really worry about deer getting in. But prior to that, yeah, that was a really big concern and I would go out and spray that stuff, absolutely. But I do do the spray that you just saw. Um, and I don't spray it on their face. I don't want it to get in their eyes or in their ears or something. So I spray it on like a tissue or a towel and do their faces with it. Today's craziness is once again brought to you by Waggle. Waggle allows me to keep a real time alerts of the pups and rally when I'm traveling and receive text alerts over 5G Verizon network of any temperature, humidity, or power outages that I might experience so that I know that my pets are safe at all times. And now with the code on the screen, the link below, you can save 60% off and keep your pet family safe as well. you're gonna do that the next most important thing is shade now you may notice that i'm wearing black and that may seem counterproductive in the summer i do like black a lot but try to remember to wear black when i'm taking them out in especially in the middle of the day because i will get a lot hotter a lot quicker trust me their fur does the same i mean enzo's mostly dark lotus is very dark on top like it doesn't take much in the sun for them to get hot so uh, shade is vitally important, which is why hiking is good. Uh, and then if you don't have shade, you can always make your own. Baba, you need shade. Baba, you need shade. Baba, you the shade. You need shade. Shade is very important. Okay, the concrete or surface test is pretty simple. You'll wanna use like your palm of your hand or if you're wearing sandals, you can use your bare feet. You're gonna to want to hold it down for about five to seven seconds and you're gonna to wanna to test different surfaces. You literally just put your hand down and make sure that you can hold it for about seven to 10 seconds. Keep in mind that different surfaces can be very different. For example, you wouldn't think so, but this brick is way hotter than uh, the driveway is right now for some reason. So it doesn't always have to be concrete or blacktop. Keep in mind that generally speaking, the darker the content, like so if it's blacktop versus say like concrete, it's probably gonna be hotter, but not necessarily. So always best to check that. 
and keep that in mind when you guys are out enjoying summer. This being a reflective service might look hotter, but honestly, I kind of, yeah, it's not as hot. So yeah, that's a pretty easy test you can do. All right, we are doing this in the grass because I don't even have to check the pavement. It is too hot. It's 93 degrees. I know this blacktop's too hot. All these tips are obviously beneficial for their safety. This next tip could actually be life and death, car specific safety. So I have to go in here and check the PO box. If you want to mail the pup something, the address is down below. I'll probably put it on the screen as well. Very set system that we're going to go over right now, kind of quickly because I have the air off right now and it is at 93 degrees. The good thing is it is overcast. Uh, so the first thing is we're going to turn the air on, obviously, and you have a recirc button. Sometimes you have to move your car to like max AC or something, but we want max AC and we want this button. You have a recirc button. What that does is it brings, it keeps recirculating the same air versus bringing fresh air in. This is important for a couple of reasons. One, it doesn't have to recool outside air, so it's gonna be more efficient and colder. And two, especially when you're sitting in like a parking lot like this, uh, you know, if some polluting like diesel truck or something parks next to them, I don't want those fumes being pumped in. The other things I do, watch out boys. I roll up the back windows. This is mostly to do with safety from other humans. Humans are dumb and they will do something stupid like try to pet them or something. I don't want that. However, I don't wanna leave all the windows up in case something fails, in case the AC fails or in case the recirc fails or whatever. I always leave this back window down a decent amount. Not enough to like for them to get out or anything, but enough for some decent airflow um, you know, if something were to happen, if the air were to shut off or anything like that. Uh, it's just kind of like an emergency backup. Obviously, I put the AC on max. I don't have it on max yet, but I will do that. If you take nothing away from this video, please take the car safety extremely serious. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go check my PO box or rather the pup's PO box and then we will, uh, we're going to the park after this. So we'll have some more good outdoor tips. I believe there's no such thing as too much information. I don't necessarily wanna be bombarded with it, but having access to it, like for example, I know that even though it seems really nice in the shade right now, it is actually 93 degrees and really too hot for them. In the Airstream right now, it's 106. That's too hot for everyone. So having devices like Waggle can really mean the difference between life and death when traveling with your pets. Yeah, I gotta get off that pavement. It's too hot. It's too hot. Let's start the car. Ends out, end. Okay, I'm not where, sure where your bowl went, so we're gonna use our backup bowl, which is a pro tip. I always have backup bowls. I always keep some backup bowls in the car, and I always keep backup water in the car, which is very helpful. I know in uh, this video you've seen me use like bottles of water, but typically what I use is these hydro packs. These are amazing. I love these things. I keep them in the truck, and what I do is I actually the way it's set is I have hooks and I can hook them right onto this mole pack. That way I always have water to hook more. 